Hey, yo, just want to let you know the first iteration of the official Sickos merch is up on runitbackphillyshop.com. Go to runitbackphillyshop.com. It's on t-shirts, hoodies, beanies. Use the promo code SICKOS20 for 20% off. No, this lady does not come with your order. I'm sorry. I've been wanting to do this for a while now, so let's not waste any time. Let's just get to showing you the stuff. First of all, Kyle Lowry, after one game with the Sixers, is out tonight with reconditioning. Okay? I don't even know what that means. Keith Pompey says, Kyle Lowry will miss tonight's game with return to competition reconditioning. Don't know. No, no idea. I thought getting back into basketball shape was done by playing basketball. Now, last night against the New York Knicks, who Tobias Harris always sucks against because the New York Knicks play physical and Tobias Harris is the opposite of that. Here's his first drive of the game on Hartenstein. Okay, just an absolutely embarrassingly weak take right here. You know, if he had a little more speed, he could have got a step in front of Hartenstein here and had a drive to the rim, but he's very slow. Couple of extra dribbles. Tries to power dribble here. Has no awareness about the weak side or maybe kicking the ball out to Batum on the three-point line when DiVincenzo collapses. He just has no basketball IQ at all and gets easily swatted out of bounds by one of the smallest white guys in the NBA. And that's not a shot at DiVincenzo. It's a shot at Tobias Harris for being a soft bitch. Just an embarrassingly weak take to the rim. What else we got? Oh, it's still 3-2. to two. Tobias Harris going to try to get involved early. D Buddy healed a little drive. Maybe he should have taken an extra dribble, drew the defense closer, but he kicks it out. Tobias Harris, what are you going to do? Iso, step back three? Oh, it's a fucking air ball, dude. Now it's 7-3. to three. Tobias Harris, hey, man, coach told me to be aggressive. Coach told me to be involved. I'm going to try to be aggressive. I'm going to try to be involved. Here we go. Top of the key. I'm just going to chuck this one. Brick. Now, a lot of times I have to explain to people that don't watch Sixers games how bad Tobias Harris is defensively, and it's not his stats. Once in a while, you see him get a clean strip and a steal, and you say, look, he's a good defender. But when you really watch the game, dude, just watch this play right here. This is Sixers are down 5-3. to three. He's on Precious Achua in the corner. DiVincenzo is going to drive into the lane. Watch what Tobias Harris is, does. DiVincenzo drives in the lane. Doesn't even pump fake. Tobias Harris leaves Achua wide open in the corner and boxes out. Hartenstein, bro. Bro. Bro, he left his man wide open in the corner to box out somebody who's on a... Nobody shot the ball. Now, this one right here is on Tobias Harris and Tyrese Maxey. It's a, it's a missed basket, okay? You shouldn't get beat in transition on a missed basket. But watch Tobias Harris and Tyrese Maxey right here. Somebody needs to pick up ball. Tobias Harris is in no man's land. He doesn't... Not only does he not pick up ball, he doesn't pick up the cutter. Tyrese Maxey doesn't really pick up either either, but Tobias Harris just stands here and lets Precious Achua run backdoor alley-oop easy bucket. I mean, that's fucking horrendous. Some more really bad defense by the Sixers here. This is not a fast break. DiVincenzo is just jogging down the court, but right here, somebody needs a pickup ball. Somebody needs a pickup man. Nobody does either. Tobias Harris, again, in no man's land. DiVincenzo gives the ball to Brunson. Now Tobias has to retreat and pick up Brunson, and DiVincenzo runs out to the three-point line. Batum and Tobias Harris are double teaming Jalen Brunson on the block and DiVincenzo is wide open for three bucket. That makes it 12 to three. Tobias Harris goes to the bench. Now, like I said, Nick Nurse's obsession with Tobias Harris and Nicholas Batum is what lost them this game. And the end of the third quarter, this is the lineup that made the run every time the Sixers made a run in this game. Tyrese Maxey, Kyle Lowry, Buddy Heald, KJ Martin, and Kelly Oubre. All right. And here, here's just an example of the defense that was played by this lineup. Buddy Heald on, on Brunson. Plays okay defense. Let's him get by him right here. But KJ Martin with the weak side block. Get that junk out of here, buddy. No, sir. Do you, you think Tobias Harris making a block like that? No. Sixers have it down to 14 right here by the end of the third quarter. Now you got Cameron Payne in the game. KJ Martin's still there. Kyle Lowry, Tyrese Maxey, and Kelly Oubre. Payne drives to the rim right here. You see KJ Martin sneakily gets good position on Alec Burks right here for the rebound. Fights underneath, gets the ball, puts it back up. 12-point game at the end of the third quarter. Well, we got 12, 13-point game right now. 12-point game right now. Kyle Lowry, left side, couple dribbles, just an absolute bucket. Mid-range at the buzzer. We got you. 10-point game. Now, I say to myself, is Nick Nurse going to bring Tobias Harris back into this game? Because both of the runs they made was with him and Nicholas Batum on the bench. No, he starts the fourth quarter with another lineup that has speed and athleticism and ball handling. 
And uh, here it is, 10-point game to start the fourth quarter. Kyle Lowry, pump fake, drive, beautiful play, kick out to Buddy Heald, wide open, and that's a free throw for my guy Buddy Heald. And the Sixers cut it to seven. Now, I'm not just here to slander Tobias Harris. You know, I'm going to call it like I see it, and I've seen a couple plays now like this. This is absolutely horrendous defense by Tyrese Maxey. The Knicks are up 11 right here. You're on DiVincenzo. Uh, I mean, I, I do I need to tell you he's a three-point shooter? Uh, DiVincenzo just comes and gets the ball from Jalen Brunson and Tyrese Maxey's five feet off of him. Kelly Oubre can't get over the handoff for some reason. It's a wide-open three splash. This is a horrendous play right here. The Knicks are up 102 to 90. I don't even know where Tyrese Maxey is in this frame. This is not a fast break, but the Knicks have a five on four because Josh Hart gets up to the three point line. And where's Ty? Oh, there's Tyrese. Wide open three. Look, man, Tyrese Maxey's not going to be a good defender. We know that. He, he, he'll show flashes sometimes, right? But these lineups that include. Tyrese Maxey, Tobias Harris, and Nick Batum, and 37-year-old Kyle Lowry. I mean, brother, it's just not going to work. You need speed and athleticism around some of these guys, bro. That's it. That's my video. Uh, I made this video to slander Tobias Harris, but the more I watched the plays in the fourth quarter, the entire Sixers team, Nicholas Batum, Tyrese Maxey, and Tobias Harris played absolutely putrid defense, um, and that's why the Sixers lost this game. But Tobias Harris still got to go, bro. You need speed and athleticism out there. Both of the runs that they made were with K.J. Martin and, and Kelly Oubre on the floor. Uh, I want to see more Ricky Council. It's time to bench Tobias Harris. I don't care what anybody says about it. I'm out of here.